what was your reaction to the success of To Kill a Mockingbird? I often wondered how an author who wrote what became an immediate smash would react. Well, my reaction to it was not one of surprise. It was one of sheer numbness. It was one of being <laughs> hit over the head and knocked cold. <laughs> I never expected that the book would sell in the first place. I was hoping for a quick and merciful death at the hands of the reviewers, but I was hoping that maybe somebody might like it well enough to give me some encouragement about it. That was Harper Lee in 1964, talking about what was believed to be her first and only novel. But that all changed in the fall of 2014. Now to the literary news that has so many people excited. Harper Collins is going to be publishing a second novel by To Kill a Mockingbird author Harper Lee. With the discovery of this manuscript, a novel Lee gave to a literary agent back in 1957. Its title was Go Set a Watchman, and even the author, who is now 89, thought it had been lost or destroyed long ago. I was blown away. I was shocked. Um, I felt like I was being handed the most sacred thing I would ever hold in my hands. Michael Morrison is Harper Lee's publisher. I didn't tell anybody about it. I locked it in my drawer. Um, at the end of the day, I put it in an inner office envelope and carried it home and kept thinking, please, God, don't let this be the day I get hit by a bus or get mugged. Went home that night, read the whole thing, and just fell in love with it from the first sentence. It's very clear that this is the same woman who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird. When we asked her for an official comment about Go Set a Watchman, her response was, and I wish I could do her accent, but I can't, I don't know what to say. I wrote it, and that's that. And that's where it may have to stay. How and why this happened is a mystery unlikely to be told by Harper Lee.